Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and it is 10.06 in the morning and there's something very special about this Saturday. It's a road trip day. We're going to Atlanta. Hi guys, we're about halfway to Atlanta, a little over halfway, we're almost there. So that means a Bucky's stop, but of course, I have a Bucky's hat on right now. Isn't that adorable? It's a little Bucky Beaver. Um, Lance and Audrey are gonna freak out because I had to get them this. It is a Halloween throw blanket. It's Bucky the Beaver as a vampire, and it says, if you got it, haunt it. And I think Lance and Audrey are gonna love this. So yeah, there you go. Happy Halloween, Lance and Audrey. Back on the road. to Atlanta. I am here with my family and it's going to be my mom's birthday on Sunday. So that is the reason that I am in Atlanta today is for my mom's birthday tomorrow. And not only is September 17th my mom's birthday, but it's also football Sunday, which means I'm so glad you asked. We are here in Atlanta for the Atlanta Packer game. And I'm so excited. I'm going to vlog this experience as much as possible without also like losing being in the moment because that's very important, especially when you're around family, you know, you gotta live in the moment. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today whenever I upload this and enjoying the adventure that's ahead of us. I hope the Packers win. I don't have a score prediction yet. Stay tuned. Uh, maybe I can get a score prediction out of my dad too and that would be super fun. All right, I'll see you soon, guys. Good morning, everyone. It is the morning of the Packer game, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a score prediction just for funsies. I think it's going to be 17-24 for fun, and the Packers win. That's what I think at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I'm really excited, guys, because we're walking to the stadium. We're going through Centennial Park. We got plenty of time, so. I'll try to snap some shots of walking through our Olympic Centennial Park in Atlanta, Georgia, because that's a really cool part of history. Anyway, guys, I'll see ya then, and don't forget, go Panko! Oh, and by the way, my hat today says football is my favorite season. And then as you can see, I am decked out in Packer gear. I'm so ready for this game. Guys, I was drinking my Celsius. There's cars rubbing in the background, but it's okay. And I noticed even my Celsius is green and gold. Oh, it's a sign. Level three. We are all the way up here, basically the nosebleeds, but I'm looking forward to an exciting game. Thank God, thank God Matt LaFleur threw down that challenge flag for first down. 
Dad, what's your score prediction? 28-17. I said 24-17. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Mom, what's your score prediction? 31-17. I like it. I like, I like it. Especially the 17s. It's Mom's birthday, September 17th. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. She's 39. Yeah, she's 39. <laughs> from my trip to Atlanta and I'm sad and I think you all know why. You might have guessed or seen that the Packers lost and I am so so sad. Um, So sad in fact that I didn't film for the rest of that experience. I am now home. It is a couple days later. Still feeling the pain a little bit especially reliving everything when I'm editing through that Atlanta video. But it's okay because it was a really fun experience. That was the first time my parents had been to the Atlanta Falcons stadium so that was really exciting for them. I think the Georgia heat was just just too much for the Packers. I think it melted our cheese a little bit. That was silly. Okay, um, I'm still a Packers fan. I'll just probably do them the biggest favor ever by never going to a game ever again. And by never going to a game ever again, I mean probably this season specifically. I'm gonna start going to games for teams that I want to lose, rooting for them. Just set all my real teams up for success, you know, and then just tear down all the teams that I want to lose. It's so silly. Anyway, guys, Overall, the trip was an awesome experience. It was really cool to explore Atlanta in that little area that we were in. We were staying at Atlanta Hilton, not the downtown one, but the one that was like a mile plus, mile some change from the stadium. It was fun celebrating my mom's birthday. She turned, I won't tell, I won't tell. Um, uh, she turned 39. I think that's what my dad told me. So <laughs> her birthday was the day of the game. Saturday night, we went to a tiki bar slash restaurant in the Hilton. Got some tiki drinks and we got just a bunch of appetizers and we were eating off of like everyone's little appetizer that we got. It was super yummy. I would totally go back there again. It's called Trader Vic's. Highly recommend. Very fun. The ambiance was amazing. Like the entire restaurant. It felt like you were on like a little island. It was, it was so cool. After we got food Saturday night, we went to this British pub pub and they had a pool table so a blast we played a couple games there i had some good moments not like anything excellent i can't remember the name of the pub but i will put it right below and you'll see it go and it'll pop up and tell you this place that we went to anyway so my dad was hungry and we wanted some snackies so we went to this place called tan lizzie's i believe but it was so Good. We got the trio appetizer thing. So it comes with chips, seasoned chips, tortilla chips, guacamole, which was delicious, amazing queso, and then some salsa rojo. It was okay, but everything else was so good. But there were a bunch of things on that menu that like I was, I had to pick and choose. I was like, ooh, this sounds good, but so does this. Anyway, that was like kind of our midnight snack. And then we headed back to the hotel to get a good night's rest so that we could get up bright and early for the game. And yeah, that was pretty much it. And then, you know, immense heartbreak at the end, the very final last stretch of the game. Owie. Owie. 
That was us celebrating my mom's birthday on a little impromptu, somewhat spontaneous trip. And that was amazing. So glad. I hope she had an awesome time. Other than them losing, ah, oh, can you tell? I just can't get over it. They better beat the Saints and Lambo because otherwise I'm going to be miserable for two weeks in a row. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the comments below, if you would be so kind to wish my mother happy belated birthday, Elena's mom. And then while you're down there, go ahead and wish my sister a happy birthday because she has a birthday on the 22nd. And uh, I believe that's Friday. Friday, happy birthday, Kelly. So if I upload this on Saturday, like I want to, it would be the day after her birthday, which is Lance's birthday. And then while you're down there wishing my mom, my sister and Lance happy birthday, a few days from there is Miss Emma's birthday. So happy early birthday, Emma. Why is everyone born in September? I'm digressing yet again. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And don't forget, most importantly, stay happy, stay healthy, stay bright. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.